Okay. Okay, so now I remember last week. Uh, okay, so last... Better. Hello? Hello, Hello. Giver. No, oh, I'm Duke Nukem. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> okay, so last week I think I was going to find something to blow something up with or something. Something, something. I think that's what it says. Let me see. Let me read my journal. Mementos. The rubble from a cave in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Find the key that unlocks the door leading into the machine room. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. So this is my main uh, objective right now. To uh, start the elevator so I can go down. But to do that I need to find a key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room so I can turn on the power. But the rubble from a cave-in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Okay. Let's see. And my guess is that I need explosives to remove the rubble, but, you know, I don't know. I'm not really pro at this game. Let's see. Darkness. Hmm. Tinderbox. Tinderbox. Sweet. That's one of those things you use on wood to make it smooth. Or, yeah. It's a chest. <laughs> Zelda! Yeah. What did I find? Uh, a medical thing. Cool. Oh, man. This place also, the darkness in this place is always pitch black for some damn reason. Incredibly annoying. Tinderbox? A drill part. Oh, so I need to find it. Drill parts? Tinderbox again. Okay, so I need to actually look for stuff now. That's annoying. Just up to the volume a bit there. Let's see what's in here. Candle, tinderbox, candle, another drill part. Some items can be combined in the inventory. You drag and drop one item onto another to attempt a combine. Let me do that then. Hmm. Drill part. Drill part. Should I perhaps combine these two drill parts into a drill? Can't assemble the drill yet. I need to find all the parts first. Apparently I could not. Making the table smooth. Very important. Primary, um, okay. So I need to find another drill part. Perhaps in here? There was a drill part in the two other rooms, so... That would make sense. Oh, uh, they challenge. I think they challenge me to say "rød grød med flade" in uh, Danish. Rød grød med flade. Rød grød med flade. Am I good? Am I good? Am I Danish yet? The uh, thing, Wolf Brother asks how the uh is pronounced, and it's pronounced uh. 
we have that in Swedish as well, but that's a ring with two dots over it. Okay, this isn't this isn't very scary so far, actually. Especially since I'm talking to people. Oh, there's another drill part. Cool. Oops. Oh, I heard a monster. Why do I hear the monster? So you're talking about him. Mm. I am Danish. Funny. Yes, Bjornsson accepts my Danishness. I know I have a drill, but I also have a monster. Okay, so I need I need a plan. What do I do? Okay, turn off that. Oh, is don't come in there. Get away from me. Need some light to regain my sanity. Whoa, did you walk away there? <sighs> okay, what do I need the drill for though? Hum. Hum. Uh. Some big barrels, I think. Oh, yeah. That would make sense. Are they also over there? No, they're not, are they? They're down here. <laughs> Ask if the monster can show you the way. Mr. Monster! Whoa! Om nom nom! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay, partially filled pot. Oh, I need to do the same thing with the other ones, I see. Drip, 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 drip. Re, pre, me, fle. Re, gre, me, fle. I will not accept any partially filled chemistry pots. Whoa, it's an explosive! And there is something scaring me. The darkness isn't weird anymore. For some reason. Uh, where do I need to go though? I do not know. Mr. Monster? Uh, can I get a sign or something that says you should go here? Back hall. It's dangerous to run with that in your pocket. I don't think it is. I hope it's not. It would be cool if I exploded sometime. I mean, <laughs> I would be very scared if that happened. Like if I suddenly suddenly went by Kiblewi, and then I was dead. Mr. Monster, are you there? For you. No, he's not here. He went over here and then he disappeared. Such a mean thing to do. Explosives. Wow, I can't go stand too close. Hint, don't stand too close to the blast when the explosive goes off. <laughs> That's a great hint, man. So, how will it explode? Like, it's just standing there. Was it, uh, uh, check your notes. Oh, good, good point. Good idea, I mean. Bra -bra -bra note? Regarding explosive mixture. Um.
Okay. I guess I just wait or something. Hit it. Uh, throw something? Oops, I didn't throw it far enough. Whoa! It's happening. <laughs> wow. Hello. Tinderbox. Yeah. I just like having like checkpoints at least, at least with a fire or light, so I can see potential uh, escape routes if there is an enemy or monster. I should call them tinderbox. Very, very good. This place isn't. It's not awesome. Oh, it looks awesome, but I mean, it's uh, scary. So that's kind of awesome, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. I just knew there was something there. When you see like a bunch of barrels standing in a corner, always move them because there's something behind them. The same goes for in the game uh, Baldur's Gate for. Uh, in Baldur's Gate for GameCube. Oh my god! I need this door to be open. I think I'm fine. Okay, that was kind of scary. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. No! Oh my god! I think I've seen this part in video. I think there will be a monster. In case of a missing rod, if a full set of three rods is unavailable, there is one rod in the inner study rooms which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it's absolutely necessary, I always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Okay. So, inner study rooms, storage, mending rods. Four face amp rod, Trinity steam rod. Oh! oh my god. Oh, I'm fine. There's nothing there. <laughs> I thought there was some monster behind me. Oh, there was a monster behind me. <laughs> well, I'll be fine. It's just a monster, what can it do? Kick grass? <laughs> um, I need an- Oh my god, why is he walking? Now he saw me! Ouch! I touched the fire and it hurt me! <laughs> no, why could I do that even? <laughs> why could I touch the fire? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. <laughs> Can I kill myself by touching the fire? Ouch! Yeah, try. I think you can. Oh, kind of cool. I will be bleeding quite badly, you guys. Help me, please. <laughs> I heard touching fires make you bleed. <laughs> and so I did, and then I started bleeding quite badly. <laughs> You're so evil. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Is there something in this darkness, perhaps? <sighs> no, there wasn't. I really like that the darkness is... ...darker now. makes it more scary. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's there. Uh, can I hide here, you think? Maybe not. Um, where can I hide? Where can I hide? Here's a corner. The darkness. Oh, there's a chest here. Hmm. Tinderbox. Health. Tinderbox. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> My god. <laughs> Get away from me. Uh, where can I hide? Where can I hide? Where can I hide? Do I have to hide in my room? I don't want to have to hide in my room. I'm going to have to hide in my room. If 
if I can get over my barrels at all. I just need to make sure that I can get over this, that's why I'm jumping up there and stuff. <laughs> Trying to look through that little crack there. slowly walk out of my hiding place, make my way back towards where I found this horrific monster. My character is quite shaken still. Can I open this door now? No, it won't budge still. Okay. Okay, okay. So, let's see my mementos if he wrote something yes. else. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. I need to find a key now. That unlocks a door to a machine room. Hmm. Back hall. Let's go back there. See what happens. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. I agree. You do not want to die. Guest room. I don't think the key will be in the guest room. The study, that's where the key will be. He climbed out of bed and looked out the window. It was completely dark. He waited, glanced at the old clock and waited some more. Four o'clock, he thought. It's enough. Enough is enough! I've had it with this motherfucking four o'clock in this motherfucking place, wherever I am. London? Something? I don't know. Um, okay, I don't like this place. Feels like I've been here before. Oh, was this, uh, his room? Huh? Was this his room? I don't know. Tinderbox. Everything is purple. Okay, I can go back. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, 
So something gets angry if I walk here? Or was that just a thing? Apparently it was just a thing. Okay. There's a Jesus guy here. Jesus! Ninja Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps you safe. Yes, he will keep me safe. It's Ninja Jesus. Get away from me, foul beasts! Ninja Jesus will keep me safe. Stop making dog noises. Oh, this looks like the place in Resident Evil where there comes dogs from the windows. Cool. Oh yeah, this part. Let's see what you have to offer. Stop playing with the dog's head. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> hmm, the canine spine. So it's a new chapter now? Oh, it's a bird. I want the bird. The bird is the word. Haven't you heard? Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought everyone heard. <laughs> Dead dog, sad face. No, oh, oh, it was just, I was watching a note, I see. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, it's a chapter. No, it's just text. Because I was w looking at something. Okay. Let me read you this. Animal experiment. Canis lupus familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the ag agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic, cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this pro process to to of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are capable are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Yes, that's a very educated uh, thing. Uh, I agree fully. And uh, yeah. Chambers of the Human Skull. Really nice. Oh! I hear something. Oh, it's just the dogs, I see. Okay, I'm going to go into this next room, see what's there. It's a guy. Key, give me key. Key. Okay, Tinder box, give me key. My key. Oh my god, why did you do that effect? I have nothing against human skulls, but when you do that to me, <laughs> I become scared. <laughs> Anatomy Frontiers, 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yeah, yield nothing. Out. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate, emanate more of the em energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would pro prove less of a hassle to acquire. I agree. I agree fully with this statement. Okay, but uh, this will mark the end of my current playthrough of Amnesia. Come back next week for more.